In this video, I'm going to share three ways with you which help me restore my emotional stability when I would feel least grounded. You might be in a situation where you feel overwhelmed or like you're a victim or like life is just too much. If you are in any of those situations or you were and you didn't know what to do, then this video is for you. If you want to skip ahead to the summary section of this video, you can find it here. My name is Deem and let's get started. Number one, evaluate the size of the problem. Whatever problem you're going through, chances are there are thousands of people that already went through this problem. And there are even more thousands of people that would kill to be in your position. They have it much worse. There are people without parents. There are people without limbs. There are people that have no ability to see, no ability to hear, no ability to speak. People that know they will die in two months from now. People that are born literally in war. People that have a tough situation where they have to live on the streets. I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. All I'm trying to do is to show you that your situation most likely is not as bad in comparison. You are most likely better off than any one of them and each and every one of them would do anything to be in your position. So why is this powerful? Well, because you might think that the difficulty that you're going through is difficulty level 100 until you see people that are worse off than you and then suddenly the problem that you thought is level 100 now it's 70 or 60 or 50 or maybe even 20. And then suddenly you become more inspired. The situation becomes more manageable and you don't feel like a victim anymore. Number two, change your focus. Why change focus? Because as Tony Robbins put it, whatever you focus on grows. If you have a lot of negativity in your life, chances are you've been focusing on these emotions. Why not focus on positivity, on a sense of hope, on light, on goodness? Okay, but how do I do this? One of the excellent ways is to ask questions and I'm gonna give you five of them. Knowing that whatever I focus on grows, would I rather focus on positive things or negative things? What are the consequences of focusing too much on negativity? Do I like these consequences? If no, then why would I continue to focus on negativity? Is this decision taking me closer to my goal or further away from it? Is what I'm doing right now helping my physical, spiritual, mental and emotional health? If no, then why would I continue doing this? Is what I'm doing right now in line with my values? Number three, mindfully observe your thoughts. Just sitting still and describing each and every emotion mindfully will help you feel more and more detachment from this emotion. It's interesting, but it feels liberating to just sit there and admit what kind of emotions or what kind of thoughts or what kind of actions you're going through without judgment, without criticism and without a sign of plus or minus assigned to this emotion, thought or action. When you stop assigning a plus or a minus to your emotions, your emotions become more neutral. And the more neutral your emotions are, the easier it is to get rid of them, to let them go. If you cannot do this right away, don't worry. Just continue observing and describing the emotion until it gets completely neutral. You can just simply ask yourself, what am I now feeling? What am I now thinking about? Whenever you find yourself remembering what person X did to you and you start to cultivate or activate that feeling of anger towards that person, just say to yourself, hating, hating, hating. Same with other emotions. Here are some examples. Judging, criticizing, praising, misunderstanding, feeling desperate, confused, feeling not good enough, being jealous, being better than, comparing, being obsessed, needing love, not having enough love, not feeling like I deserve it, feeling empty, feeling stupid, feeling not resourceful enough and many many other examples that you can come up with. These three ways will definitely help you stay grounded when you feel like life is too much. 
All right, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button below and consider subscribing. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Here's the summary and see you next time.